tomorrow. There will be sun scalloped by clouds, ushered in by a waterfall of birdsong. It will be a temperate 75, low humidity. For 24 hours, all politicians will be silent. Reality programs will vanish from TV, replaced by the snow that used to decorate our screens when reception wasn't working. Soldiers will toss their weapons in the grass. The oceans will stop their inexorable rise. No one will have to sit on a committee. When twilight falls, the aurora borealis will cut off cell phones, scramble the internet. We'll play flashlight tag, hide and seek, decorate our hair with fireflies, spin until we're dizzy, collapse on the dew-decked lawn, and look up, perhaps for the first time, to read the long lines of cold code written in the stars.